bedroom apartment owned by not owned but rented by this guy named john and john was somebody who used to gift people very high amounts of money on you now and it was literally grooming if you think about it because all the people that were moving in there were 17 to about 25 years old and i know i'm not saying that he was grooming 25 year olds but he was sending these people a lot of money and then inviting them to come and stay with him in LA so they could pursue whatever it is that they want to pursue and he'll cover their rent he'll cover their transportation literally all of that um his real name was John so which is so ironic because in like other culture (laughs) other culture we're not talking about right now um being a John is a guy that pays money for services certain services so I'm like hmm how convenient that is his name but there were big names in that apartment. Like when I say two bedroom, one had a fingerprint for only John to go into, but the second bedroom had bunk beds with no mattresses on it. Like he didn't even give him mattresses. Like that's so fucked up, Loki, high key. And they'd be fighting over the closet. Like whoever can go in there, hook up with the girls in there. Like it was actually a shit show. And I cannot believe that these people were putting themselves through this just to have a free place to stay when they have all this designer stuff like it was so weird it was so dystopian because like you see on their instagrams they're flexing all this like expensive stuff and they have it it's just like on the floor in this empty bunk bed room just like it means nothing but they're over here flexing it and posing with it like it's cool but this was like the reality and there was a point where John, where a, a lot of people started moving out, like they were starting to catch on to what he was doing and they weren't down for living basically like they were homeless. Like they didn't even have freaking mattresses. They were sleeping on the floor or on top of clothes on this bunk bed. So a lot of people left, but some people stayed and he really took advantage of the people that were there. He was making them go and do SW s work like he was making these influencers go and do this stuff to make money like it was it was just really really intense um but that's not my story to tell for like the people pop in and because like that's where they live like if i'm like oh i'm like come over to my apartment they're like no come over and i walk in it's just a bunch of teenagers and adults yelling at each other and it smells like weed like what is going on (laughs) Um, so speaking of teenagers, let's knock it down a couple years. Children. The amount of children that I would see at parties and events. 